Now, ohmmeters are typically built into multimeters, and they allow us to measure the resistance of either an element or of a network. In the picture below, we have an ohmmeter that's connected to a circuit network. We have a positive terminal at the red lead and a negative terminal at the black lead. Now, ohmmeters work by applying a potential across the element or circuit and measures the current running through it. That is, at our positive lead, we apply a voltage potential for where we have our negative lead being the return, and we allow current to flow through this. And the resistance is calculated via Ohm's law. That is, R is equal to voltage potential per the current flowing through the device. Now we have to be careful, for current can leave our positive lead and split through our 20 ohm resistor and our 10 ohm resistor. And after it goes through the 20, it can go through the 60 and 30. And that is to say, our ohm meter is not measuring the resistance solely of our 10 ohm resistor, even though the leads are applied across said resistor, rather it's measuring the equivalent resistance of the whole circuit. If you wanted to measure the resistance of the 10 ohm resistor, you would have to break it from the network and perform your measurement. 